We're at dinner. Hopefully you can see this, but this is our menu for tonight. Just the extra upcharge, and then this is going to be a little bit classic brown. I don't think I said it yesterday, but if you want to get extra entrees, it's uh, $7. So, <laughs> you know, it ain't like carnival and all them. So if you want it, if you want the pork chop and the shrimp and grits, one of them is going to cost you $7. So that's what the deal is with that. My appetizers are in. I got a Caesar salad and I got the spring rolls. Um, I will not be needing the pepper rest right there. <laughs> they can keep that. I am going to try this. Oh, it's hot. Uh-oh. I'll let that cool down for a second. I'm going to try my spring roll now. <laughs> Me it cooled off. Actually, it's still hot. Um, cut it in half. Ate the Caesar salad, which was good. You know, can't go too wrong with Caesar salad. Let's see what the sauce is hitting for. Teriyaki sauce. Oh, she got shots. Um, it's good. We got awesome crunch. That crunch is amazing. Dinner is served. I got shrimp and grits. I don't know what this is. can't readily recognize it then I'm just not gonna eat it <laughs> so we'll try the we'll try the grits with the sauce got some onion on it mm. the grits is in season they just made some grits and then put the sauce on like that's enough. <laughs> Shrimp looks good though. It's not bad. The sauce, sauce on it is okay. Shrimp is good. The actual grits could use some salt or something. But, um, it's not bad. We got our dessert. I got the baked Florida. Looks oddly familiar, right? I think these are pears on both sides. I am going to do my taste test. So that's the chocolate, strawberry, vanilla ice cream, and then charred marshmallow. A little layer of cake. <laughs> Veronica got this brownie molten something. <laughs> she don't like it. It got caramel and chocolate sauce and it has ice cream. No sugar. No sugar? Oh. Oh. This is terribly sweet. This got all the sugar. That's why you ain't got none. So this is their atrium area. Guest services is there and the shore excursion desk is there. They got the big flip flop and then just places to sit. And they have an ATM. So we are at the theater for Radio Margaritaville live at sea. I will get a couple clips in, you know, just in general, but y'all know she's gonna do the whole show. So if you want to see the whole thing, make sure you um, check out Life Baby. We're going to see what's all about. I think it's supposed to be about DJs and music or something. So, of course, music, but um, popular songs. We'll see. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Radio Margarita Villa Live. Live at sea. Now, this is Jimmy Buffett, iconic Radio Margarita Villa. I've made its way onto the ocean. But guess what? This show 
got its own special twist. You know what's that twist? It is you guys, the live audience. Audience, can I hear you right now?
I went at the bar again. She keep putting me here. We've been me having a wonderful time. We at the bar at Euphoria. I think they got some live music going. So apparently they tricked all their men by wearing the same shirt. Um, just hanging out, trying to stay up. Thank you, Mary Lou. What's that? I tricked her, but yet she handed me a drink. I'll be drinking again. Yeah, it's our last night. Gotta get off. Vacation is over. We've, we've been having a wonderful. You can put a lot into three days. A lot. Put a lot in three days. Tired. And we still gotta run it back tomorrow. And do a whole nother. Run it back for you, Steve. My liver hurts. My liver hurts. Yeah. People hanging out. Um, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers who come here um, randomly or from the post I made on Melanin Etsy. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I hope that you all enjoy this vlog series. I hope you will um, enjoy the channel. Stay. Don't be leaving, y'all. Got me all hyped for getting all these new people. Don't be leaving. Stay here. New patients. Y'all new here. I'm I be back for you here. Ah, might be back. Thanks, Lily. So we're going to enjoy some drinks, enjoy each other's company, and I'll be back. I know what I meant to tell y'all. You can take the girls away from Carnival, but you can't take Carnival away from the girls. <laughs> We was watching the show, and at one point they were singing Bruno Mars. Don't believe this? me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Why are we down in the corner <laughs> doing the carnival dance? We <laughs> was like, nah. We like, we need the whole thing. I was like, that's so sad. And that was not what they were doing on stage. Was but we were doing it, because that's the only way we know that song. Yes, true. Sad. Sorry. It was, we were just thinking, that. we were like, we can be up on the stage. If they do that, that's, all, know, that's, that's all we know for that song. The perfect choreography. Guys, I am ending this vlog here. Comedian was okay. Um, you know, he had some funny stuff here and there. Enough to be entertained. It's about midnight, and we need to pack and get ready to get off the ship because this child said she was setting an alarm for 5.30. Lord Jesus is a fire. But we, you know, so tomorrow starts our magical journey from West Palm Beach to Miami. We went to the desk and asked the people what time we could get off the ship. He said they normally start letting off at 8 o'clock, sometimes a little before. I keep hearing all the horror stories about getting off with a birth certificate because my passport expired in April and as the slacker that I am have not sent it off to be renewed yet so I got to get off with my birth certificate Veronica get, can get off with her passport yeah. so <laughs> we're trying to do it as early as possible and then we're going to figure out how we're getting to Miami and on to the Carnival Conquest to join everybody else on the Meet and I cruise including Sister who's already made it to yes, Miami sister. so do the stuff hit the buttons make sure you stick around um, you know tomorrow will be another travel day so I will be vlogging and then of course I'll be vlogging the entire um, Meet and I cruise so 
We'll see you tomorrow. Look out for the live streams. Yes. By the time you see this, I would have already probably gone live at some point. But still, look out for the live streams. Hi, hey, y'all. We are outside of the terminal. Um, so I'm adding this from last night, but Veronica and I decided to do a test to see how long it takes people with passports versus people with birth certificates. Um, so we both walked off the ship at 7.30. Oh, I will say, if you're coming on Bahamas Paradise, see if you can get a room on Deck 5 because that's where they get on and that's where you get off. So you don't have to worry about catching an elevator to get on and off and all that stuff. But, so... We left out of our room at 7.20. We got off the ship at the bottom of the gangway at 7.30. We had express, so we got in the short line. That's another wonderful thing. There was a, not a big line, but a nice decent size in the regular passport versus birth certificate. We got express. I got off at 7.41, I was outside. Of course, she beat me out here, but if you wanna see what time she got out, you gotta go watch her vlog. We are sitting here now waiting for an Uber. So we've been out here going back and forth <laughs> about whether to catch the Bright Line or Uber to Miami. It's an hour and 20 minutes away. But um, so we but we figured we have to Uber to the Bright Line, pay for the Bright Line, and then Uber to the Port of Miami. So that's three different ins and outs. You know what I mean? So we would have to take our bags, get in there, get on the train. The train has three stops. Get your bags off the train, find your Uber, do all that. To Uber straight through with just us in the car is only like $20 more than the train. We're willing to pay for convenience. We're paying for convenience. Uh, she got three bags, I got two bags. Yes. All that up and down, back and forth. No. No. Mm -mm. Just, I'll pay for it. I'm, I'm at the age. I'm paying for convenience. <laughs> but, but it's a good idea. The bright line yeah, is, is a good idea. But Absolutely. when you think about, you got an Uber to get there, and then you still got an Uber to Miami. You paying about the same amount of money anyway. Yeah. So, it ain't worth it in the end. Although, you know, we would have had enough time. Yeah. The yeah. first train don't leave till nine o'clock. It's only eight o'clock. So. Yeah, we had no time. Yeah, but this is what we're gonna do. Now I'm really ending the vlog because it's time to begin the conquest series. Bye, guys. Thank y'all so for watching. Make sure you check out Life with V. Subscribe to her channel. We'll see you on the conquest. Peace.